Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with theblogtoread.com. This is the newest Casio Pathfinder watch. This is the PAW2000. This is the version on the resin strap. There's also um, a slightly more fancy version on a titanium strap and it looks a little bit different, but same exact watch, same exact movement. Now, the Pathfinder watch has been around for a while. It's known as an ABC watch, and that stands for the altimeter, barometer, and compass, which are three main types of sensors that it has. Actually, the altimeter and the barometer share a pressure sensor, but that doesn't really matter. Um, aside from those three different types of functions, the watch has a ton of other things, and Casio continues to wonderfully evolve and de develop the line. One of the most important things about this one is how thin it is. For a Casio Pathfinder watch, this is extremely thin. Now, I thought the previous version, which was the PAW1500, which I also reviewed, was thin, but this really beats it. And I, I don't know how they continue to do this. I remember when I was a kid, the Pathfinder watches, they were just thick, they were bulky. I mean, they were awesome, but this one is, is really really beginning to reduce the size in terms of thinness. Uh, it's still it's still a big watch in, in, a, in a good way. Um, you want it to sort of cover up sort of your entire wrist like that because it has so many functions on it. You want to be able to see it well and it's great. So let's talk about a couple of the new things here. Most of the functions re remain the same, which and those are obviously the time, the full perpetual calendar, the several alarms, the timer, the stopwatch. Um, this is also solar powered, meaning there's a bar around here which takes in light, not just solar light, but any light really, which powers the movement. And at the bottom here, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's sort of a always visible power reserve uh, indicator, and it just says low, medium, and high. Um, what the watch does is if it's not in light for too long, it just shuts off. Um, but then if you pick it up again and expose it to light, it'll turn on again. And that's in order to save power. It's also radio controlled by the atomic clock. Um, so if you're near one of the, I think this is a quad band watch, uh, which means it's basically going to get the, the signals in the U.S., Japan, um, I th and then I think there's two in Europe as well, which it's going to get. I think there's another one out there. I'm not sure how many bands this one has. You can check, but it's got that function as well. So basically, you're talking about something never need to change the battery, never need to set if you don't want to. World timer means it's very easy to switch between time zones, get a reference time, and cool things like that. Um, one of the new things here is that there is a sunrise and sunset data. Um, which is quite cool and you can adjust the watch really really accurately so it's not just a matter of what's the biggest major city you're near but you can actually change um, you know very very minute uh, types of uh, you know like longitude um, you know it just in by degrees so you get the most accurate and then obviously it knows the calendar so it's able to adjust that you'll need to read the manual on a watch like this the manual is pretty big. It's a thick thing. Now, of course, this isn't a couple of languages, but um, you know, you want to sort of go through it a little bit just to see all the functions that the watch has because it's it gets a little bit complicated. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually relatively um, simple. Another thing that they've done, and this isn't the first time they've done it, but they brought it back, is using what's called a duplex LCD, which means there's two LCDs stacked on top of one another. And they've integrated this really well. So let me show you right there. Now you see the sort of purple lines moving. Um, now this is in the compass mode. And you can see how there's an LCD on top of the LCD. And you can see sort of the compass reading, um, like the needle, on there. And then you can see the degrees right there uh, you know, in, the, in the main screen. But what they've also done with the uh, duplex LCD screen is use it as an indicator. So you see that purple line, how it's moving around there? It's actually pointing to uh, small indicators here of what function you're on. So a lot of the major functions utilize the duplex LCD for information purposes or as part of the, um, the function, which is, which is quite cool. I like that a lot. The LCD screen is really clear. They've done a good job. Um, the back uses some of these slightly blue tones. It's very sharp. Logical layout of everything. Um, just a ton of features. I don't know how they get so many features in watches like this. Uh, of course, there's also a backlight. Um, an awesome watch. I think every well-rounded watch collection needs a Pathfinder in it because these are just, just, they're just too cool. Pri retail price for this is about $400. It's a little bit more with the titanium. Um, of course, street price prices are usually less. Um, 
But overall, very nice. I'm very happy to see that Casio is continuing to evolve these in a great way. Gives you a lot of incentive to keep buying new ones. Um, this again is the Casio PAW2000. You can see the full review on a blog to read.com. Thanks.